gonna set this aside and put me up a little shelter and a place to sleep. All right, so I think I got a plan here. So I've got this small little group of saplings right over there. And then I've got this third sapling standing out just a little ways away from them. So I'm gonna basically pull the tops of a couple of these saplings together, tie them off, and then, so that'll make the framework of my shelter. And I think I have, I think there's enough of these all together here that I can actually make the whole frame of my shelter. The wind is, right now blowing down the draw so I want to make sure I have good protection good wind protection from that direction so I like to tie a lot of quick release knots so that when I'm done I can easily restore all of this back as close as possible to its natural state so I just tie double overhand knots and leave the loops in the end so they're a quick release knot. So when it comes time to go, I can just pull this string and the knot will release. So I pull it and it releases the first knot. Then I pull it again and the second knot releases. So I just bite it, pull the tail through, simple overhand knot and I double it and that'll hold fine for the night okay I've lashed all these saplings down I brought them all together up here at the top. And then see how they make kind of a arch over the back. So I'm gonna stretch my emergency blanket over that. That will be the roof. And then I'll put my fire right out in front of here. So my next step is I'm gonna to have to do a little ax work to trim up some of those branches hanging down and stretch the emergency tarp over the top of it. All right, so I've trimmed up the framework of my shelter I've saved all the branches that I trimmed off because those are gonna make the basis for my bedding. And next step is I'm gonna stretch uh, my emergency blanket over the top of that framework. So I have two emergency blankets in my pack. So the question is which one do I use to stretch over the top of my shelter and which one do I use to curl up in? Well, since the top is not gonna be taken very much abrasion or anything like that, I'm going to use the small cheap one to cover the tarp because all it has to do is provide a roof for the shelter and shed water. So I'm going to use a small one for that and then the little bit thicker one to wrap me up because I'll be sleeping on the ground. Using an axe as your only cutting tool is not as easy as one might think. It's a little more awkward doing all the small cutting chores with your axe, for sure. Gotta get some small round pebbles that I can use for anchor points in that tarp. And I don't want them to be, I don't want them to have sharp edges. I want them to be as smooth as I can find them. All right, so I got a couple of pebbles.
take my pebble, put it in there, give this a little twist, my paracord, take a couple of bites, tie my overhand knot, and just for good measure, take another bite, or another overhand knot, turn it into a square knot so it won't slip. All right, so there it is, the completed shelter. I anchored off all the corners. I grabbed some uh, pine duff, and just, I have the tarp, oh, probably four to six inches off the ground in the back. So I just grabbed a bunch of pine duff, and filled in that hole along the back, so I wouldn't have any wind coming in from the back on me at night at all. Basically just those four saplings were the frame. I arced them over and tied them off out here. In a perfect world, I'd drop that center height down a little bit and make it a little lower, but as it is, it's enough for me to get back underneath and stay out of the rain, so I'm not too worried about it. It's, uh, it's not going to be super fun or anything tonight. <laughs> but. All right, so my shelter's done. I'm going to gather a little bit more material for the bedding. Um, but as it is, I've got a couple inches of pine boughs. These are mostly just the branches that I trimmed off of these saplings for the shelter. So I'm going to gather up some more bedding material. I'm fine to sit in here. And um, I'm well back underneath the eave. And also, I'll have plenty of room to lay in here. And I'll be well back underneath the flow of any rain coming down. I can't even see there's the edge of the tarp out there, so I'm a long ways back in here. So I'll have to be careful about sticking my feet out of it, but I got another couple inches to go that way still. So, so I'm going to gather some more bedding and um, then get myself a little fire going. <laughs> 